our new patient. Part girl, part boy, all 13's dream date. Severe pelvic pain started during a basketball game. Could be dehydration. You already gave him fluids when he came in. Still, if it was chronic. They got a kid could mate with himself, and they're thinking he didn't have enough to drink. There are dozens of intersex disorders. Persistent pelvic pain could mean congenital adrenal hyperplasia, PMDS. Those conditions occur in intersex kids who are chromosomally XX or XY, not XX and XY. Parents recently started them on testosterone. Maybe there's some Vitamins there. wouldn't cause pelvic pain. There's a note in here. We're supposed to refer to his testosterone shots as vitamins. His parents aren't just liars. They want us to be liars, too. I won't do it. You guys will, though. He's a kid. Parents don't think he's ready to deal with it. My dad was the same way about me maybe having Huntington's. It's... Well, that was your experience. It must surely apply in this situation. Pain could be caused by a blind uterus hidden in his abdomen. He needs an MRI. Right. Boy with girl genes. I'm sure you're the first doctor brilliant enough to check for a uterus. He could have complications from the surgeries on his penis. That can cause pelvic pain. Way to multitask. Impress your boss and humiliate your ex. MRI is a waste of time. But to continue the humiliation, you'll put a camera up his penis. Testosterone blocker? Does that mean if Jackson has SLE or whatever that other thing was that he'd have to go off the hormones? Probably. Then Jackson will stop developing. He'll never go through puberty. Maybe this isn't what's wrong with him. Maybe the testosterone didn't cause it. Yeah, but if it is, then he'll never be a man. Did we make the wrong choice? You'll need to tell him that testosterone blocker is something else. Or maybe this is a good opportunity to tell him the truth. It might make it simpler for all of you. You want us to tell a sick adolescent boy that he's really not an adolescent boy? That doesn't seem simpler to me. No. Just give him the meds. I have this IV, why do I need a shot too? Just some extra medicine, just to be safe. I hear you're quite the basketball player. What position? Point guard. Small forward. How's your crossover dribble? It's okay. I'm not really that into basketball. Gonna feel a little pinch, okay? So if you're not that into it, why'd you join the team? My mom kind of made me do it. My parents were the same way, always pushing me to try new things. It's more like what she didn't want me to try. I wanted to take dance. She flipped out and made me choose between basketball and hockey. What does your dad say? He seemed okay with it. Then he just caved into my mom. Your palm is red. What does that mean? Then we still don't know what's wrong with you. Too many. Hey, please get some information about our patient. Patient's palms are red. Lab test confirmed liver and kidney dysfunction. I don't remember you taking any Vicodin today. I don't remember hiring my mother. And what causes the enzymes in little boy George's existing heart problem and pelvic pain? You didn't take any yesterday at breakfast either. I don't remember having breakfast with my mother. Amyloidosis with systemic involvement. Protein levels are normal. This kid's depressed. If he's self-medicating with drugs and alcohol, that'd explain his symptoms. Search the school, search the home. Oh. Seriously? It looks like the vitamins my parents gave me. Same red top. These aren't vitamins. What is it? I can't tell you that. You should ask your parents. So what? Am I a boy or a girl? Some of your cells are male, and some are female. So basically, I'm a freak. Oh, no, buddy. You're just a little different. You've known this since I was born, and you never told me. We didn't want you to be confused. So you lied to me. Oh, please, sweetie, we were just trying to protect you. Don't. Just leave me alone. 
it out. Eventually, you have to talk to your parents again. No, I don't. No. I have this one friend. My basketball team, Will. We hang out a lot. I really like him. Now I'm worried that I... You know, like. Maybe I'm supposed to, because if I'm really a girl. Hmm. Do you feel like a girl? I like dancing more than basketball. Is that what that means? Jackson, as hard as it is right now, at least it's out in the open. You don't have to hide behind a mask. I found the poem you wrote in your room. No matter how bad things get, killing yourself is never the answer. This was an English assignment. We were supposed to write a poem in the style of Sylvia Plath. You don't feel this way? I'm sad sometimes. I don't want to die. At least I didn't. Are these antibiotics supposed to make you nauseous? Yeah, they can. <laughs> Patient dead? Or do I need to do anything? He's got scleroderma. It's not scleroderma. Wow. Two days, you already got two separate theories. You're back. Good. We noticed a drop in AST levels. It's not from the anti-inflammatory. It's because his kidneys got better from the testosterone. Which rules out scleroderma? When did you two come up with this? We ran into each other in the lobby. So what did we miss? When I say we, I mean you, because I wasn't here. We've ruled out Zollinger Ellison. That was a dumb idea. Why? Because it was wrong. Also toxoplasmosis, dehydration, SLE, various intersex disorders. Oh, crap. This kid like energy drinks? I saw some empty bottles in the team locker room. But. Energy drinks don't explain. Nice work. This is all your parents' fault. Excuse me? Chug a lot of energy drinks before, during, and after practice. Your son came in here with simple dehydration. That's why he collapsed during the game. The ER treated him for that. It didn't help the pain. That's where the energy drinks came in. He put a strain on his kidneys, so he needed more time to rebound from the initial dehydration. Then why isn't he better? That's where your idiocy came in. Before we could give him another glass of water, you two insisted I do an MRI. So I go down a blind alley looking for a blind uterus, and my team injects him with contrast material. His kidney's been healthy. We filtered out the contrast in a couple hours. He says they weren't, and it went around and around, eventually getting absorbed by his heart and his liver, his pancreas. Getting in trouble everywhere it went. Your son was fine when he got here. It was your freaked out overprotectiveness that nearly killed him. Yeah, right. He's young. A few weeks of dialysis, he should be fine. <gasps> you gave birth to a freak of nature. Doesn't mean it's a good idea to treat him like one. <laughs> 